Hey guys, it's Laura here from Little Lights by Laura, and per request, I am showing you all how to trace an image that has multiple colors that you want to cut out separately. Now, I'm going to remind you, I say this in every video that I cut and trace from the internet, you are not legally allowed to sell these images. They may only be for personal use unless you own the rights to them. This is a Major League Baseball logo. I do not own the rights to this. I'm not using this. I'm simply showing you all. But if you plan to do so, you need to legally own the rights. Okay. Now, what is unique about this image is there is a white border. Okay. And this is super hard to trace unless you use a trick tale as old as time. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to draw a big black box around my image that I want to trace. And it disappeared so I'm just going to right click and I'm going to send my box to the back from here I'm going to go and grab my tracing tool and I'm going to trace my image and what I'm looking for here is a solid fill so if it was like this I'd be missing the red so I'm going to keep it there and I'm going to trace it and now I'm going to scoop my box and my image to the side all right now I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this. If you've watched any of my videos, you see I duplicate everything all the time just in case I need to go back. And um, let me go ahead and adjust my background real quick so that you guys can see. There we go. That's better. Okay. Now I'm also going to make this a tiny bit smaller. Okay. Now I'm just going to delete this. And since I made it smaller, I just want to make sure it's all the same. All right. I'm going to right click. I'm going to release my compound path. This I no longer need. That was the black box that was being traced. Now you can see I was able to copy this white border. If I were to have just taken this image and traced it without the black box behind it, it would not have allowed me to pick up the white border. I'll show you real quick. See, it doesn't pick up the white. So if I trace this, See the difference? The black box allows you to see the white line. So from here, I've already released this compound path. So you can see that I can easily fill this in red. I can now fill this in blue. I know the colors aren't exact. It's okay. And then um, this, uh, the, the player can be white. And then um, this is where your duplication helps as well because I need this white to show through this. So let's say you're cutting it with vinyl. You're gonna need a hole in the blue and you're gonna need a white circle to put inside of the hole. So I'm going to select all of my things here. I'm gonna hold my shift key and I'm gonna click on the player because I don't want this border to be part of my deal. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna make this a compound path. Now what that has done is I now have a hole in my blue, okay? But I still need that white to circle. So because I made a duplicate over here, I'll show you, I'm going to right click, I'm gonna release my compound path, and I'm gonna keep this little circle. I'm gonna fill it in gray, just so you guys can see what I'm trying to show you. And now when I go to cut my vinyl, I can put it right in the hole, all right? So there you go, super simple. And obviously if I'm doing this, I can line it up better. Now from here, if you want, let's say, um, you know, you wanna go ahead and cut everything out by color, you can totally do that. I'm gonna change this back to white just for cutting purposes. Um, when you cut by color, all of that is under your send tab. So here I'm gonna cut by line or I'm gonna cut by fill. And it will allow you to choose if you want to cut the blue, the black, because there's black on my screen, or the red. So you would just choose accordingly, check what you want to cut. Um, let's say in this case you only wanted to cut your red. You can see I'm only going to be cutting my red. That will allow you to line up your vinyl as you have cut. Now, if you guys have seen my other tutorial where I show you how to cut layered vinyl, I use a trick where I'll just use this black square for example, um, where I will place a square on my vinyl 
so that, um, and I will just, um, I'll triplicate it basically. And then I will change the color to go along with the corresponding color that I'm cutting. So right now you see I have white, blue, and red. I will go ahead and stack them up perfectly because I want them to cut at the same time. So you'll see here if I go back to send, if I wanted to cut red, you see now that I'm cutting this red box and this red piece. Let's say I only want to cut blue. Now the blue is going to cut underneath. And same thing for the white. You see, we can't really see because it's in white. But um, this will then allow you that when you lay all of your pieces out on your shirt or whatever the case may be, um, you now are assured that they will line up if you don't feel comfortable doing it by your eye. Don't forget, if you are using heat transfer vinyl, you would like to um, put, put it on a shirt, or if you are using heat transfer, you need to mirror your image. So there you go. Super easy. Um, just a quick trick on using the black box if your image you're using has a white background. Hopefully this helps. Let me know if you guys have any other tutorials you would like me to do. I'm happy to put them up for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you on the next tutorial.